Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to try and repair my 2014 Ford Flex steering intermediate shaft. I'm experiencing steering wheel binding every quarter turn or so. No other messages or codes on the panel. If you're like me and countless other extremely satisfied Ford vehicle owners, you'll be very pleased by this move they made to make our lives so easy and pleasant. I'm talking about this joint between the steering column and the intermediate shaft. Yes, that's right, it is not separable. In any case, the steering column needs to come out. But we start with disconnecting the battery. After removing plastic covers, we see there are wire harness connectors to be disconnected as well as plastic uh, clips to be pulled. And the whole thing is supported by two 13mm nuts and two 10mm hex bolts, one on either side of the column. Unplug all connectors, including the one in the back. Remove all the plastic clips, unscrew bolts and nuts. Loosen the rubber boot clamp. Remove lower U-joint clamping bolt and gently encourage this separation. Be sure to hold the steering wheel in locked position with the column. Don't let it spin out of control, or else you'll be like me, needing to replace the clock spring as well. And this is the cause of our symptoms, the locked or stuck U-joint. If you own a flex with motorized adjustment steering column, you'd be in luck and the replacement shaft would be a simple enough fix. But since I own a cheaper option vehicle, this is how they want to make sure I spend more money to repair it. They want me to replace the whole steering column. So, today I'm going to attach this shaft here by making a sort of an adapter coupling. For projects like this, it is essential to have some good shop machines and tooling. I'm turning this M1 steel rod on the lathe to proper diameters. I owned the 5C colored block set for a while now, and this is my first time using it today. I'm extremely happy I had it handy. 
I milled three flat surfaces and the bolt groove for perfect fit. I drilled a hole in the tube so I can weld the adapter in place. I made sure it is aligned perfectly with the round surface facing down. Also, I tried to keep the U-joint in the same location as the original. One more OCD induced reliability increasing measure was to drill a through hole and install this M8 bolt. This concludes the repair. All that's left is put everything back the way it was before. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share as you see fit. Thanks for watching.